everyone. For those who don't know me, my name is Megan Farida and I am the Kids Director here at New Heights. As we all know, the coronavirus has greatly impacted our world and continues to bring new obstacles to all of us every day. We as a church would like to make it the best out of every situation handed to us and I am so excited to have the opportunity to use YouTube to reach all of your children at home. Each week, I will be posting what we normally watch in our elementary kids' classrooms, as well as a worship segment so your child will still be able to learn God's Word and His purpose for us, even in the middle of a national crisis. Today, we are starting a new series called Put Others First. This series shows that God's love demonstrates a key element of who God is and why Jesus came. We'll find out what loving God and loving others looks like, as well as accepting God's forgiveness and extending it to others through forgiving. I do want to let you know that there will be a moment when we are finished worship, in which I will ask a few questions for you to answer with your children. I do encourage you to discuss these questions with your children, as this creates more of a personal experience. Also, I have attached the link to our weekly challenge cards in the description below. So if your child holds onto these and is able to complete them the next time they have church in our building, they will be able to earn some challenge points and get some pretty neat prizes. All right, well, I believe that's all I need to let you know. So let's get into the video. Mike. Did I get something? Oh, it's huge. Let's see what I got. Listen to this. Mike, you're my favorite person at Connect HQ. It's fan mail. I don't think all of it is. Listen to this one. Mike, your library book is overdue. Oh. Mike, we need our book back. Mike, we give up. Just keep the book. So it's a stack of almost all fan mail. Mike, when you smile, I see sunshine. This one seems passive aggressive. We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. My name is Mike, and this is the time I hosted the Me Show. The people who wrote these things, they're so nice. They're so sweet. They must really like me. Hey, Mike, look at this. Dear Connect HQ, my dad and I never get along. He does things way different than I do. My mom says that I should try walking a mile in his shoes. Do you know what that means? Did you help decipher that code? Thanks from Ian. That is a tough one. I mean, first, his feet are small. They're never gonna fit in his dad's shoes. And two, can you even walk a mile? Is that humanly possible? That's not what that saying means. Uh, Ian's mom is saying that he needs to think about his dad's thoughts, his feelings, and needs. I think there's a verse about it. Hmm. But what does that have to do with shoes? Hmm. Here it is, found in the book of Philippians, chapter two, verse three. Say it like this. Mm. Philippians two, three. Philippians two, three. Don't be selfish. Don't be selfish. Be humble. Be humble. Thinking of others as better than yourselves. Okay, thinking of others as better than yourselves. When we put others first by considering them better than ourselves or walking a mile in their shoes, we're putting God's love into action. Mm. So whose shoes am I going to wear today? Oh, that's a great idea. We should join one of the other groups and help serve them and get to know them better. I call skit vision, that's what I want. Okay, well then you can make us a uh, point leak video. I'm gonna make the best skit ever. Yeah. 
and I'll, I'll join a quiet time group and help find a Bible link. I'm so excited. I'm going to be a star. Now, 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 don't forget, we're there to practice being humble and help someone else. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm very humble. I'm the most humble guy ever. I'm more humble than anybody else. Now, I'm gonna take my fan mail from my adoring fans and be on my way. I'm on my way. Oh, I love it. Winston! Oh, that's right. It's so good to shake your hand. Oh. Well, I'm a big fan of yours, and I found out that we have something in common. I love gummy worms, too. Oh, uh, actually, I like gummy bears. They're pretty much the same thing, right? No, I've spent many years researching why gummy bears are the best, but we don't have time for that. There is a kid named Ian who needs our help. We need to show him how to walk a mile in someone else's shoes. And we need to show a point, which is God's love isn't selfish. I see. We could do a skit where someone is trying to fit into shoes that don't fit, and then someone else comes along and shares the right size shoes. Oh, that's that'd be so hilarious to see me trying to put my foot in a little shoe being like, oh, it's too small. <laughs> oh, so you want to be in the skit. Yes, I am a vital resource for skit vision team. You bring the skit and I bring the vision. Well, it's just that we have actors who already auditioned for the group. <laughs> this is my audition. This is a stack of fan mail of people who would love to see me <laughs> in a skit. This one's a coupon for a free quesadilla. Oh. <laughs> Look at that, they're sending me free food. I thought you were just going to observe for the day. <laughs> <sighs> I would not waste my talents, no way, I'm here to help. Actually, you just sit there. I'll take care of everything. You know what? Uh, put your feet up. I've got this. Vision. What just happened? Is this what it's like working quiet? Shh. Is there anything that I should know? Shh. Is this what it's like? Oh. Shh, I got it. Um, Mike, this seems a little over the top. And I don't see how it teaches the point, God's love isn't selfish. Hmm. Trust me, it will help Ian with this problem. And it's funny, and it stars me. Then I guess we'll just rehearse it and see how it goes. Oh, there's no need for that. I already filmed it. I have a little experience of setting up a camera and just going with it. Here, gummy bears, because they're better. Watch this. Please. And welcome back to The Me Show with me, Mike. You probably recognize our next guest from breakfast, lunch, and she's currently working on dinner, Chef Elaine. Give a round of applause for Chef Elaine. Uh, yeah, let's make this quick. I've got a roast. <laughs> roast. <laughs> oh, so how did you become a chef? Oh, that's actually an incredible story. I was the apprentice to the greatest pastry chef in France, and... Oh, you know what that sound means. Uh, but I was telling a story? It's time for the Like My Game. And the way this game works is that you have 30 seconds on the clock to say as many good things about me. And ready, set, go. Ah. Start. Uh. Mm -hmm. uh. I like your blue cards. <laughs> That's that all. Got a great appetite. Well, it's about time for a commercial break, but when we come back, me and Chef Elaine will be making ants on a log. Uh, uh, 
What about my roast? What about your roast, Elaine? <laughs> you cracked me up. Chef Elaine. Yeah. Yeah. And that's just up to the commercial break. There's like three more segments, including one where Chef Elaine goes off about a burnt rose. Mike, this is... The word you're looking for is epic. I, I don't know how to say this. I'll help you. It's called epic. No, listen, Mike. We can't use this. Why not? It looks great. You look great. The whole thing is about you. I was so excited to work with you today, but then you came in here and took over. You didn't listen. You didn't serve. You even told me I wasn't allowed to like gummy worms. God's love isn't selfish. All you did was put yourself first. Wow, oh, wow, you're right. I'm, I'm so, I'm so sorry. Let me fix this. It's okay. Please, let me help. I, uh... Ah, I got an idea. Okay, I think I found a Bible link that will help Ian. Luke! In an orderly fashion. Okay, I think I found a Bible link. Good. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. We find truth and purpose to love God and love others. We're searching God's word for things to discover. This book is alive, full of answers and godly advice. This book is alive. See the wonderful stories inside. Every day I'm searching, read through history and poetry. There's no other book like this. This book is alive. Way back in the Bible. Not that far back. Not that far back. Not that far back. Right after Jesus died for us and came back to life. Yeah, right after that. Jesus' followers had grown from just a few to thousands. They even moved from city to city. One of their leaders was one of Jesus' original 12 disciples. You may have heard of him. His name was Peter. He traveled around preaching and teaching the people how to live and love just like Jesus. In the city of Joppa lived a believer named Tabitha. She was always doing kind things for others and helping the poor. She showed others God's love by making clothes for people who needed them. But she got sick and died. Her friends prepared her body to be buried and laid her in an upstairs room until her funeral. But then they heard Peter was nearby. They begged Peter to come as fast as he could. As soon as Peter arrived in Joppa, he came to the upstairs room. The room was filled with women who were crying and showing Peter the coats and other clothes Tabitha had made for them. They told Peter how her kindness had blessed all of them so much. Peter asked everyone to leave the room. He got on his knees and prayed. Then he said, get up, Tabitha. And she opened her eyes. When she saw Peter, she sat up. Peter gave Tabitha his hand and helped her up. Then he called in the widows and all the believers, and he showed her to them, alive. The news spread through the whole town. Many people believed in Jesus because of the miracle of Tabitha's coming back to life. But many had already come to know Jesus because of the way she lived, loved, and served others. We can follow Tabitha's example by living and loving like she did. When Tabitha died, all of the people remembered her for the nice things that she did and for being so humble. Oh, that's perfect. Yay. What? Oh, I said yay. <laughs> oh, yay. <laughs> and that's a wrap on the skit video. Mike, 
We couldn't have done this without you. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. I was really glad I got to help, and even though Chef Elaine is still very mad at me, uh, she did help me get you this. <gasps> wow. Gummy worms. Thank you. I'm a big fan of your work. So how'd today go? I learned a lot. Great. Why are you whispering? I learned a lot too. Well, I'll show you the video we made. We discovered the point link. God's love isn't selfish. Here, watch. Ah, these shoes are too tight! Where are you in this video? Oh, I'm not in it. I was helping out behind the camera. I found out I was a better servant if I wasn't on screen. Leave it to the professionals, as it were. Wow, Mike, that's very humble of you. Yeah, like I said, I'm the most humble guy I know. What'd you learn? Shh. But I wanna know. Shh. But I wanna know. But I want to know, but I want to know, but I want to know, but I want to know. Hi, I'm Mike with Connect HQ, and we have an answer for you. The Bible tells us this in the book of Philippians. Philippians 2, 3. Don't be selfish, be humble, thinking of others as better than yourselves. When you're making a decision, it's important to keep in mind that other people have their own thoughts, feelings and needs, which matter just as much as the things you think, feel, and need. Tabitha showed that she wasn't selfish by thinking of people in need and helping them. When she died, people remembered her for being that, instead of being selfish. I had the opportunity to think of others first, but I only did things my way. I wasn't showing God's love. When we put others first by thinking about what they really need instead of what we think they need, it's like walking a mile in their shoes. Think about what it's like to be your dad and show that selfless love by asking how you can help out around the house or listening to him when he seems upset. And we can show everyone that selfless love like Jesus showed to others. God's love isn't selfish. It's a love that makes us stand out. Thanks, Ian, and remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. All right, well, Mike and Luke got better at thinking of others' thoughts, feelings, and needs by working with them for the day. Now, everyone, let's say that Bible verse and throw in those beautiful hand motions if you know them. Philippians 2.13 Don't be selfish, but be humble, thinking of others as better than yourselves. That was great, everyone. So let's give our full attention to God and worship Him. Get up off that floor or couch or bed or chair or whatever else you're sitting on and let's worship God together. All the static, all the noise, can't compete with your beat. Tuning in to your voice, it's your love on repeat. Shout it out, tell the world.
mine forevermore Let it only be for you Jesus, my heart is yours Now and forevermore Let it only be for you Jesus, my heart is yours
I have three questions for you to get the conversation started. Feel free to pause this video between questions so you have enough time to talk about them. So the first question is, what does it mean to walk a mile in someone else's shoes? The next question is, how do you think putting others first shows God's love for, to them? And the last question is, what is something selfish you need to stop doing? Well, okay, now that you have answered all the questions and have had a great conversation with your family, I will go ahead and close this out in prayer. So if everyone can bow their heads with me. Dear God, I just want to thank you for today. I thank you for the opportunity for us to keep learning even though it is on YouTube. I pray that we find moments this week to not be selfish and to put you and others first. So I just thank you for today. I pray we're all safe and healthy this week and we just love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, that's all I have for you today. So stay healthy, stay safe, and have a fantastic week. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.